My wife and I run a business together, a restaurant. It was a tricky divorce. Aren't they all? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, after I bought back into Underworld, I decided to hide some of my savings from her. Her and her solicitor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put them, uh, I put the money back into the factory's main account. Uh, and then I saw Sense, took it out and paid her. I'm not proud of what I did. But I thought it'd be weird if you didn't know. Like, uh, I don't know, you might think I had something to do with the roof. Why would we think that? <laughs> uh, don't know. Just, just wanted to be up front. Well, if you think of anything else. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'll be in touch. Thanks very much for your time, Mr. Tilsley. Uh, no, thank you. So, uh, I told her what I told Carla. I was going through a messy divorce. I needed to hide a few quid. I knew it was naughty, but I also got a money in the end. Make it eight out. Great. So now the police know you're a liar, we can relax. They think I lied about my divorce settlement. One thing's got nothing to do with the other. Yeah, and the police never really make those types of connections, do they? All right. I know you're jumpy. Jumpy? I mean, do you blame me? I'm in business with an idiot. You should be glad you're in business at all. Should I? Because I'm starting to think if I made a huge mistake. We were in the clear, weren't we? Until the roof collapsed. And now, the police think that the bloke who part owned the factory has just been through some messy divorce. He's got big sums of money here, big sums of money there, new businesses, lies. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I put my head on the block for both our sakes. <laughs> 